Andrew Clennell, and on the other side already, understandably, the talk is the rebuild because it's going to be a massive one. It's a huge challenge for whoever is going to lead the Liberal Party and the coalition. Yeah, no one's officially declared yet. Ashley, as in terms of the Liberal leadership, but we have a fair idea, Peter Dutton's a favourite. Talk a bit more about that in a minute. First, I want to show you this map of Melbourne now, the electoral map, and look at that. There is no... There is, there is one seat in that city of four million people at the moment, which is Liberal, Aston. Alan Tudges. With some speculation, Josh Frydenberg might run for it, but if he runs for it, it's only about a 5% margin, I think. He could lose a by-election, so maybe it's not viable. There is just no... <laughs> that is an incredible uh, image, isn't it? I mean, we talk about Western Australia, that is definitely huge. And Melbourne, of course, we've seen the past couple of elections has gone pretty red. But that is crazy. I mean, mm. it, you do ha see, perhaps with the obvious exceptions of, of Sydney um, and, and, and parts of Perth, like, a, a real capital city uh, swing to the left, whether it's Labor or Independence, whereas the regions are voting very differently. Anyway, all this is food for thought in terms of whoever runs for Liberal leader. So, as I said, Peter Dutton, I'm pretty sure, haven't been able to contact him, pretty sure he's running. Uh, even if Josh Frydenberg was in Parliament and running, I'm convinced Josh, uh, that Peter Dutton would run. Is Dan Tan going to run? Doesn't sound like it. Have a listen. Will you be running for a leadership position? It's the last thing on my mind, Andrew, no. It's the last thing on my mind. Uh, what we've got to do is make sure that we are looking after those who, who have lost their seats. Josh Frydenberg probably gone. Does Peter Dutton become the favourite for that job now? Well, look, we've got to wait and see um, what happens. We wait and see what happens. Uh, as I've said, there's still a lot of votes to be counted. Pretty hard to contact Liberals at the moment. Maybe they're all in shock or maybe even they're doing the numbers. But I have managed to get in contact with Energy Minister Angus Taylor, who's being talked about for leadership or shadow treasurer or deputy leader, and he's declined to comment as to whether he'll put his hand up for either leader or deputy leader, Kieran. It's a, it's a big ask because I tell you what, they've got a lot of rebuilding and try and work out how they grapple with this new wave of of the teal independence.